All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, we got our fancy new gauge cluster. It's not the new one, it's just rebuilt. Um, we had some updates done to it, make it look a little more hot roddy. Uh, but that's gonna be my next few minutes here to pull this dash back apart, put this gauge cluster in so we can start running this truck because without the gauges in it, you have no power windows, no door locks, no AC, no radio, no navigation, and no alternator. So we'll get this done. Uh, basically what I gotta do is pop this bezel off the dash, which I've already had off a million times, um, unhook the uh, different electrical connectors, set this in, one plug goes here, one plug goes there, a couple little seven millimeter bolts hold it in, and off we go. So give me a few minutes and we'll show you what it looks like without a dash bezel. Work our way across, take everything out. You don't wanna get this bezel completely out of your way, otherwise it makes things a lot harder. A little screwdriver sometimes can help you get these clips off, but I found a lot of times if you try and do that, you pry a little harder than you should and you end up breaking stuff. And even though it's an old truck, I tell you right now, nothing is inexpensive. Find something laying around here I can use. I don't know want to come off, but we'll get it. You know what? I might be able to do it and leave that. There we go. We can just move this bezel kind of out of the way. It's just going to hang there off something. And then your gear indicator pops in through the bottom when you get this in everything's color matched it's it, I mean it's it's really pretty easy you gotta put your gauge cluster in The customer on my 86 square body truck that we're taking my square body apart to use parts for just checking in to see how things were going it says he'll keep watching it on YouTube so there back to the dash bezel so we got to get the gear indicator in place first which They do not give you any extra of anything. No, no extra wire, no nothing. It's like, you better get it, boy. Whoa. Let me. 
Okay, we've got the gear indicator locked in place. Get your cluster in. Black side goes on the black side. It's pretty self-explanatory. Start with your clips down, and then there you go. See, we already got stuff working now, so we go. Oh, I gotta take it back out again. Hang on. I forgot the cluster pretty much has to go in place before you connect the wiring because they give you so little room to do anything. Go there. This one in. there gauge clusters in place now we got to put a couple screws in it put the dash bezel in you're gonna have to put a jump box on it because I did drive it for a little bit without the gauges so the batteries are low um, we'll get that started and uh, I'll show you that afterwards so cut tell me when you're ready okay. all right we've got four seven millimeter bolts each in one corner that are gonna hold your gauge cluster in there's no uh, like old cars had a speedometer cable and stuff this is all 100 percent electronic which is why it, everything fails when it goes bad the problem i was having there is and if you ever have this problem where you're driving down the road and your gauges drop out and your radio shuts off and your windows don't work be aware your alternator is also not charging okay so you're going to have an issue shortly this plug right here i i dealt with this issue for quite some time it originally happened when I was going down to Tampa Bay uh, to pick up the Porsche um, just all of a sudden the windows don't work and the radio the navigation goes off when you're going from Tennessee to Tampa Bay and you really have never been to Florida before having navigation is kind of handy um, so what I would do was as I was driving and, and I figured this out pretty much by mistake um, because you can go to all the forums all the, the, the there's a different cut this wire and do this and do that and do the other thing hang on So I found out that if I reached up Not the safest thing in the world while you're driving or even when you're parked, but it, it would do it while I was driving um, I could reach up through the steering wheel with a bezel popped off and grab this plug right here and wiggle this plug and I could get either temporarily or for an extended period of time everything to start working again um, so I dealt with it and 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 finally it got to be to the point where I'm having to goof with it every time I drive the truck so we found uh, Auto Tech Rescue that's uh, they're in Joplin Missouri we sent the gauges out to them um, they did a, a blue LED light upgrade in it, so I can't wait to see what it looks like at night, and they white-faced all the gauges for me. Um, so I'm going to pop this bezel back in place. Installation is the opposite of extillation. Installation is the opposite of removal. Wash, rinse, repeat. Um, so we'll, we'll put that back together. We'll put a jump box on it, fire it up, and let you know that everything's working. See you in a minute.
<clears throat> everything's plugged in just be sure to get your bezel aligned and kind of where you need it before you try and pop any any of the pins in otherwise you'll break it but you'll see with the key on my radio has already come on which it wasn't doing before uh, it's telling me both doors are ajar I guarantee it won't start now it's dead we're gonna get a jump box and fire it up for you and uh, we'll show you a little bit more then Okay, on a diesel you got two batteries. You want to hook the jump box to your lead battery because it's connected to both of them. Um, this little jump box is supposed to be the best in the world. It's, it's just like every jump box I've ever had. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just leave it on there for a minute and let suck some of the superpowers out of the mini no start and starter jump box into the truck and hopefully it'll start. So, so how's your day going? It's Monday. It's going to be hot. It's going to be sweaty and muggy and nasty and, mm -hmm. and humid and same thing that's what sweaty muggy and nasty means but you need more, adjectives. more adjectives I have to put more adjectives in there we're working on it but okay I'm gonna give it a try again if it doesn't start we're gonna we got a stalker Get the big red jump box. Yeah. We can also hook up two jump boxes that only work when they want to. One to each battery. It should pretty much light right up. Gauge cluster's done, truck runs, we're going to let it run for a while, charge the batteries up, uh, and sell it. Or maybe not, maybe I'll keep it, because now I've done stuff to it. I get that way, sometimes I sell stuff, sometimes I keep it, sometimes I say I'm going to sell it, but I don't. Sometimes I say I'm not going to sell it, but I do, so you really don't know. I thought you were a man and not a woman. What's that? I thought you were a man and not a woman. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, I say what I mean, boy. Most times. Let me show you this. 
this. Okay. Of course, the emergency brakes off, but there now the emergency brakes off. The airbag light is on because I have my passenger side shut off. Boom, LED upgrade. Look at those lights. That is going to be killer at night. Yeah, buddy. The entire time I've owned my truck, my gas gauge, the bulb was out in the gas gauge, so it didn't it didn't light up, which was fine. You just gotta look and check and stuff, but but I'm good. It's 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 working. Gauges are working. Yay! It's all fixed. I got my truck back. You see this? Yeah. I This air, this air freshener didn't hang itself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Redneck Rumble. I got this uh, last year, I think, for a pre-entry. Uh, Tommy sent me one of them. Nice little bottle opener. Don't drink and drive. Why does the truck have four cup holders? See, even the air conditioning works now. Man, you What have I done? Okay. All fixed. Old trucks rule. kind of dig the LEDs. Kind of neat. It's only got 3,492 miles since I put the motor in it, so that's not bad for, when did I put the motor in, February, March, April, May, June, four months, less than a thousand miles a month, I never drive it, so, and the other one I drive even less, so, that's it, you notice we got the, uh, that was an option in 2006, if, uh, you need to get people out of the way um, you can either single burst it or hold it in it'll completely unload all your missiles all of them I got uh, sidewinders Mavericks uh, wild weasels uh, buzz bombs uh, I actually have uh, uh, flares to, to you know if a heat-seeking missile is following me I have flares I can deploy and, and those go out um, I've actually been able to take this truck and put two wheels up on the guardrail and drive at highway speeds to get around traffic and uh, it really does anything you want. The missiles are, are one of the best. This button right here, I don't even want to talk about it because if I were to press that button, Austin would be like a drone. So I'm not going to do that. That's an ejection seat. We don't, we don't want to do that. All right, we're going to go inside and actually do some work and stop with the comedy jokes. Let the truck run for a while, battery charge up. Okay. What's up, YouTube? We headed to, headed to the parts store to get some nuts and bolts. Uh, Boss is riding him on the truck.
dip here a bit. It's not made for dick, man. Mm. Watch yourself. Mm. Everybody, we're gonna spend some time cleaning the wrecker up and uh, everything works again, so we'll get it cleaned up. It's a good old truck, but I don't take care of it like I used to. I mean, mechanically, I do, but as far as detail wise and so forth goes, I really haven't because I've just been too busy. Uh, so we'll get her all cleaned up. What's up, YouTube? Matt, Dennis Hot Rock Uh What we got going on today here, I got the heater box laid in the floorboard in there. It's all rebuilt. Jim put it together. But uh, I'm about to stick it up in there. And uh, cameraman here, Austin's going to get some bolts started on the outside here for me while I'm holding it. But uh, look right here, Austin. Whenever you take these, uh, Jim may have mentioned this before, but whenever you're taking these old cars apart, you want to label all your bolts, all your parts, bag them. You never know how long you're going to be waiting on parts with one of these old cars. So, stuff tends to come up missing if you don't organize. But these four bolts right here, Austin, with the paint on it. See the ones with the paint? get them started I'm gonna mm -hmm. stick it up in there yes, and then we'll come back good so here's all our bags dash kick panel speaker everything's labeled Oh, if you look in here, Austin, you got vacuum lines, and it's important to document everything. Take pictures, write down, everything's got a colored line, red, yellow, and then you got two in the back that's red and white, and another red, white in here. So there's six vacuum lines that have to be plugged in, so you need to know which way they go. What I do it is, uh, do what? Uh, That's what I'm about to do. Ah. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I took pictures when I took it apart. Long time ago. Yeah. So, the longer the time goes by, the more you forget. And I think that's with anybody, so. Take pictures, because you never know what could happen in between. Now, if I took this apart and put it right back together, I wouldn't have to take no pictures. I'd remember how it goes, but the longer you wait, the more you forget. But yeah, we got the vacuum lines on. I got this, uh, just uh, the bolts finger tight on there, and I'm gonna tighten that up here in just a second on, on the other side of the firewall, on the engine side. And then, uh, if you look over here, yeah, a little closer. Those are the plugs uh, for the back side of the fuse uh, box. And uh, that's where the wiring harness starts. And then I'll plug it in and I'll get it all routed. And then we'll be ready to put the dash in. But before we put the dash in, the customer, the customer, I forget his name, he brought us some, some dynamat. So we're going to peel the carpet back. And uh, I believe he's already done the back section up to here. So we're going to peel the front back and do dynamite from front to back before we put the dash and the seats back in. 
But that's it. I'll get this wiring harness in here and uh, update you here in a few minutes.